What is up guys? Welcome to another Battlefield 4 video. Today we're gonna go over Dragon's Teeth and first and foremost I must thank you guys for 200 subscribers. I do apologize. It kind of snuck up on me uh, I didn't have like a big montage plan like I did for 100 subscribers So uh, I think I have something at the end of the video that will uh, make for a little bit of a 200 subscriber celebration and a little bit of a thank you to you guys so uh, apologies no montage this time but a little something towards the end of the video so anyway let's get into dragon's teeth i don't want to make a super long video on these maps because i feel like i could ramble on about every little in particular thing in the maps but i play mainly domination and that's kind of the aspect that i'll be taking from this i played some conquests on a couple maps and i'll kind of touch on that but anyway let's get into the maps First off, let's start with Sunken Dragon. I think the map itself looks great. However, it doesn't play superbly because anytime you have a huge body of water and a central point in the middle of that, I feel like you're just asking for people to camp and basically play shoot fish in a barrel. Now, uh, it is feasible to retake the middle of control of the map, but I feel like it's a little bit too hard with the giant body of water and everybody's just kind of converging in that middle area it seems and it certainly didn't make for a good domination map conquest it can play but not my favorite so looks great probably not one that i'll be playing a lot of though next is propaganda i thought i was going to like this map because it's fairly linear and generally you know in conquest linear means you can push up to the next flag push up to the next flag and then keep the other team pushed and almost spawn trapped and that's basically the idea of conquest right you want to keep the other team pushed into a corner so that way you can just hold the flags behind you and not have to worry about anything else. To a seasoned Conquest player it might play fairly well but to me I found it kind of boring because there's kind of a no man's land in the middle where pretty much tanks dominate and if you're an infantry guy trying to run back and forth you are dead meat. There's going to be a sniper picking you off or you're going to eat a tank shell. Um, and kind of the same thing goes for domination. There's trains in the middle that kind of separate either side and that kind of turned into a camping ground slash people would get stuck in the middle there because they would run up to the middle hop in a train car and realize they weren't gonna be able to make it back down either side because they'd kind of gotten collapsed upon so it had a lot of potential I think and maybe like a rush game mode would work that's one mode I have not played on the map and I need to go try it out rush since the map is linear might work well but I found it hard to get a flank route going on and um, like I said, to a seasoned Conquest player, that might be what you're looking for, just spawn trapping the other team, but to me, it got a little bit boring. Next is Pearl Market. This one I thought was going to be bad, actually. Uh, it has tons of clutter, it feels like. There's just lots of levels, there's lots of corners, lots of stairs, lots of roofs. It's just a lot of stuff, it feels like. And now, I will say that maybe it is a little bit more frustrating to a seasoned Conquest player that wants to spawn trap, but for someone like me that just likes to run around like a chicken with their head cut off, I think it plays really well because there's a bajillion flank routes and it's really hard to get totally trapped out in a corner there. Um, we did spawn trap a team a little bit for a while, but um, generally there's enough routes around you know, and through a building that people can get out of that and really change up the pace of the game pretty quickly, I found. so. I actually like that map. I thought it was going to be just too much, you know, and getting shot around corners and stuff like that. But overall, it actually played pretty well for me. I actually really like it. So uh, I would keep that one on my radar. I think I will be going back and trying to play that one again. Last but certainly not least is Lumfini Garden. This one is kind of a combination of a water and land map. It has kind of some shallow water channels between land masses and it plays pretty well on 64 player domination from what I found. Uh, probably most of the footage I'm going to put in the background here is going to be of that that particular map because it, I don't know if it was just a server we were playing on but everybody was kind of rotating and it, it felt like a pretty natural progression. Now there are two flags pretty much on one side and then the one single flag over by the uh, kind of the overpass area which I thought was going to be an issue but the way it plays is... Um, people can get and flank around over by construction and uh, they can really pinch people in that are trying to camp on that building and that seemed to keep the flow of the game going just because of that flank route around the, the back side so I think if that wasn't there it would get really spawn trappy uh, and people may, might just camp up on the overpass or just up on the building but since there are options and ways to get around the building I think that's what keeps it moving and pretty fast paced so 
Personally, I really like that one. I played a little bit of Rush on it too, and I liked it. Um, Conquest plays pretty pretty well on that, and overall, I think that's my favorite map as of right now. Let me know what you guys think. Those are just some quick overviews and my first impressions. Alrighty guys, and now for a thank you for 200 subscribers, I'm going to give away one copy of Battlefield 4 Premium. So all you have to do is leave a comment down below and make sure you don't already have Premium before I send this code out to you. Um, this is going to be for PC only, by the way, obviously we're a PC gaming channel here. So one copy of Battlefield 4 Premium for PC. If you don't already own it, leave a comment down below saying, I want Battlefield 4 Premium. And I will randomly choose one of you um, and send you the code via a YouTube message. Now, please, again, like I said, uh, if you already own it, don't bother entering. Um, and it is for PC only, so keep that in mind. If any of you guys play on other systems, this code is not going to work for that. So anyway, I just thought I would tack that on for 200 subscribers. I don't want to put big giveaway in the title because, you know, random people will show up and try to enter giveaways that way, and I just wanted to tack this on to the end so it wouldn't be a big uh, attention grabber, but for you guys that actually watch the videos and uh, stick around to the end, I wanted to give you a little bit of a thank you and just leave a comment down below, like I said, saying I want Battlefield 4 Premium. Um, I'm gonna give it probably till Saturday, and I'll pick a winner then, and I will just YouTube message you, and also try to comment on your comment so you maybe get like a Google notification. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, let me know what you think of the maps as well, and I will talk to you later.